Welcome to Stillworks and Brewing. My name is Randy and this is a channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. So what do we got going on today? Today we're going to start part two of our light whiskey series. Today is distilling day. So you don't want to miss this one. But like always, there's five things you can really do to help this channel out. And it is all appreciated. Number one, hit that subscribe button down there. And number two, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when we come out with something new. Uh, number three, share this with your friends. Get everybody in on this. Uh, number four, if you like what you see, give us that thumbs up. And of course, number five, leave a comment and we'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay? So, now let's get started. Hey, just so you know, we got, got our mash. I did check it with a hydrometer. Is at 1.000, so she is fermented out. I got my mash in the uh, still pot here. Uh, I did happen to have a quart of uh, tails, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this quart of tails in there. Just for a little more, more uh, juice. Okay. All right. So now we're going to start stacking at the still. Okay. So even though that we're making a whiskey, uh, we're going to stack the still a little bit different because if you remember from the last video when I was describing light whiskey, uh, it needs to come off the still at somewhere between 160 and 190. And uh, so the best way that we can achieve that. If we use just a normal pot still, the best we're going to do is 140, and that's that's if we're really on our game. Um, so the best way to us achieve somewhere between 160 and 190 is we're going to use a bubble plate and uh, a um, some people call them a deflagmator, a precondenser is what I'm going to call it, and we're going to use that in combined with that so that we can achieve. Uh, what we need okay so let me get started doing that and then i'll be back
Okay, so I'm warming my still up. And if you, I mean, it's the pot's only the pot's only 100 degrees, so it's just starting to warm up a little bit. But I am seeing a little bit of fog here in the uh, this sight glass right here. So it'll be a little while. So uh, now it's just time to wait and and keep an eye on it. You know, keep track of what it's doing. Okay, we're starting to get a little bit of action. Our pot temperature down there is like 150. Uh, in the sight glass here, it was foggy. Now it's getting to be condensation in there. Everything's starting to warm up. So I know the gases are, or the vapors are starting to travel. My head temperature climbed a little bit, about 5 degrees. And I'm just getting a couple little drips coming out the uh, condenser. And it's very pungent smelling. So I know that's my four shots and coming off there. So okay, so like I've said in the past, now is not the time to walk away because she's getting ready to really start producing. You got to be here ready to turn the heat down a little bit. So we're real close. Okay, the one thing I want to mention is I do have the water turned off to the uh, pre-condensing unit there. I do have the water on the condenser, so I'm going to let them vapors come up and I'm going to collect off the first, I don't know, four, five, six ounces. Uh, you know, I'll keep a smell on it and a feel of it and a taste of it. And uh, then once we get, we get uh, the first, let's say, four ounces, then we'll turn on the uh, pre-condenser and start to load up the plates in that uh, column okay okay I had a lot more uh, outcome here so I turned on the precondenser and that pretty much died down so I did turn it off a little bit I'm gonna let it reflux here for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna start easing off the water on the precon uh, precondenser until I get, well, she's doing pretty good right now. I don't know if you can see it where she's got a good broken stream. Uh, so you're going to regulate everything but from the energy you put in the pot to the cooling water you're going to put into the precondenser. Um, I got my four ounces. It smells good. Yeah, I just got my four ounces. I'm gonna go just to I'm gonna get another ounce off that. Just another ounce off that. Uh, you can see the uh, bulb plates are doing their job. Oh, that's smelling good. Tasting good. All right, I'm going to start collecting. There's about five ounces. So that's our, I'm going to consider my four shots of my heads. My heads. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start increase the temperature in the pot just a little bit. I'm only putting in about seven amps. I put in 7.8. Okay, so we'll be here collecting a while. And then we'll take a sample and see what our proof is coming off there. Okay, so where are we at so far? We got, we've collected uh, one, two, three and a half, about three and a half quarts. Uh, we're running right at 175 proof. 
I think that last one that I just collected, it was at 173. And the rest of them are all at 175. Uh, we're still good on our head temperature. It smells good. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to start doing now. I think I'm going to start collecting um, half jars. I just got a funny feeling that I'm uh, starting to come out with my uh, coming out with tails. I'm not sure. What does this last jar taste like? Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> okay. We're going to sit here and collect for a little while. But I think we're getting, we'll are getting we be getting close to being done soon. Okay. We finished up this run. Uh, we had pretty good yield out of it. Got one, two, three, four good quarts, I think. And, yeah, this first one. It smells fine. And the last one, it's starting to smell a little bit like tails, okay? Um, and the, the, the uh, ABV really dropped off right there at the end. That one smells good. Okay, so what's our plans? All right, our plans are, I am going to cover all these up and what I normally do is just take paper towels. A lot of people use coffee filters, which is fine. I just take paper towels. Main thing is just to keep uh, any, anything from falling in it. And I just cover them up like so. So what we'll do is we'll cover all these up and then we'll come back tomorrow. And I'm going to taste what I want. And then what I'm going to do is mix it together. And I'm, all, I'm looking for like 150 proof. So I'll proof it down to 150 proof. And then we're going to put some... Uh, what I ended up doing is I saved some wood chips that I've used before. And I'm going to put used wood chips in. Because if you remember, uh, light whiskey is done in a used oak barrel. Or an unchar unchar-charled... Ah! uncharred barrel. So I'm going to use some um, used oak I got. And uh, we'll see what it happens. Okay, so let me cover these up. I'll see you. Well, welcome back to Still Works and Brewing. Uh, it's been almost 24 hours. Uh, we've let our distillate breathe out. Uh, so our, our next step is get them all uncovered and we'll decide on what we want to keep and what we want to get rid of. We'll blend it down and I'm going to we'll proof it down and then we'll put it on some oak. Okay. Okay. All right. The very first thing I'm going to do is uh, look at them all. Hmm. Smells good. So if you remember, we took off the first uh, five ounces. We're going to put that in our faint jar or in our head or uh, four shots. We'll make fire starter out of that. I mean, everything so far is smelling delicious. No off flavors or no off smells. I mean, I suspect this last jar down there is probably going to have tails in it because it, it, the ABV really dropped off. Still nice and crystal clear, though. All right, let's give it a little bit of a taste. Now, since this stuff is so hot, 
And we'll start here in the middle. All right, there's 50 milliliters. And there's 50 milliliters of water. Mmm. That tastes good. Let's go down a little bit farther. I just got a funny feel in this last one. Yeah, there's just a taste of that. I just don't. So, so far, I'm going to call them tails, which I kind of thought they would be. Now, my question is. is this very first one. I may come off at 175. Hmm. You know what? That just has a little bit of a taste to it. I mean, it's not bad, but it just has a little bit of a taste that I don't want. So I tell you what, that's gonna. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep that much of it. So it's one, two, three. I mean, that's four quarts. And one thing that uh, when I was loading the still, I told you I, would, I put in quart of tails that I have actually was two quarts um, so anyway what I got here it all ranges from 175 down to 160 down to 140 so I think that's a pretty good run so let's get these all mixed together And we'll see what uh, I wonder if that's enough for this to float. Probably not. Nope. Oop, I think I put just a little bit too much in there. Okay, that's at 165. One, one about 148. That's perfect. 148. Okay, so that's 148. That's perfect. That's what I was wanting. Okay, what I'm going to do now is what I got here is I got used oak chips. I've used them be before and I'm 
we're going to put, I'm going to start off with, uh, let's say one ounce in each jar. Because I got, it's like two, just, well, it's a little over two quarts in each jar. So we'll go an ounce and a half in each one. Oop, too much. Oh, right there. There's an ounce and a half. And an ounce and a half for that one. All right, and what I'm expecting is going to happen is I'm expecting it's going to be a light color. Uh, but might be surprised a little bit because that higher proof alcohol in there, it might might pull a little bit more out of that wood. Okay. All right, so this ought to be interesting. Uh, I'll probably leave it in there two, three weeks. Test every once in a while, check it. We'll see what happens. Okay, well this is our light whiskey. It might be light in flavor, but it sure ain't light on the alcohol. Uh, once we finish this up, it'll go in the bottle at uh, 147 proof. That's going to be that's going to be strong. Okay, so we'll come back in a while, and uh, we'll have a tasting on this, and I'll let you know what it tastes like. Uh, I did check a couple other of my local. Uh, liquor stores and nobody seemed to have it's it's a, a brewery out of I might be wrong but I think it's out of Chicago called Cat's Eye that makes light whiskey uh, but um, there's none around me here so that's why we're making our own alrighty so I hope you enjoyed this series and we'll come back with a with a tasting on this and I'll let you know um, Last thing I got to say is, hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Still Works and Brewing. Cheers, everybody.